G'day, stay off grid here. Well, just have a look at this generator. Now, I've ordered new switches for this. There, I couldn't get a singular three pole switch, so I've got three single pole switches. I'll just have to cut that out a bit for it to fit in there. Now, what's happening is, if I put the little pins in, which are over on the ground, because but I put these little pins in, the three pins, I'm undoing that on both sides, pulling this up so that it sits horizontally. And then with my long nose pliers, I've been a little long nose pliers, then dropping the pins in. And then this is the switch. The switch has fallen apart further now. It had a red cap on it, but now that red cap's gone. So get the pins in, push the switch in, press it up to on and then this comes on green light so I press it straight away it starts up and then it's running fine now the problem is but if I switch it to switch and just left it on switch say hopefully that this green light would stay on I have it in two wire control and then it'd come on automatically but that's not happening what's happening is I switch it to switch to on this green light only comes on for about five seconds, so you've got to turn it on within that. So my only chance, choice, uh, my only option is to, whenever the battery's low, I've got to put those pins in, put this in, go to on, press the start button, I, all the pins, there's no use taping it in, it doesn't matter, the pins can come back out then, it'll still run and it'll be charging the battery. Um, I don't know why it's doing that, but, Firstly, if when you go to on, why doesn't that just stay green? Why does it, after five seconds, turn off again? And the only way to get it to go green again is to put the pins, pull the pins back out or switch it to the off position, which is pretty hard because the pins just fall out when you do that. Um, and they'll just end up sitting in here. And in actual fact, when I'm running, even when I had this taped in, the pins were falling out and just drop, dropping along the bottom. Um, so... My thought is, is that when it's on, okay, firstly, that should stay green. Don't know why that's not happening. Okay, so why, when you put it into the on position, does the green light only come on for five seconds? Don't know. Um, secondly, once to reset it all, basically, it needs to have gone to the off position and then to start again, go to the on position. But it needs to have gone to that off position before it has to, before it re, sort of like, allows it to start I don't know why that's happening all I can do is put the new switches in and hope for the best but if not at least I've got proper switches where I can switch it on press start straight away and then when I want press stop and then go back to start again and start again when I need to start again that's all I can do um, I was down to 20% in the morning so I've run the um, generator for uh, probably from oh mate maybe about 8 o'clock to 10 o'clock 10 30 and then 10.30 the sun's come out. Now, the sun where it is now, and it's at about 11.20 now, it goes up a little bit till 12 o'clock and then, so it's, it's come up from over the trees over there and then it goes up a little bit and then it starts to go down again. So really not getting much sunlight at all in winter. Um, I'm 70 meters up, so that means that the morning sun is just hitting the hillside. It's not coming to my property. Anyway, that's just the way things are. Um, what I have ordered is uh, eight new panels, which will help help uh, alleviate the problem because that will double the size of my um, system. Um, currently, I have 15 panels, but it's about they're about 250 watts each, so that equals about 3,700 watts. I've got eight new panels at 440 watts each, which equals, I think, about the same. Um, so I've also got little brackets for them that are angled brackets, so they'll just be sitting on the ground for the moment. I'm not going to build another. It's it's. I'm not going to build another monstrosity like this, um, because I. Basically, I haven't got the time. I need to get it running. So there'll just be eight panels running between these panels and the generator, really. So 
but that'll give my system double the capacity that gives me a chance of um, charging the battery every day so I mean yeah double the capacity has got to help me out right. and the new panels um, cost me about what it would have got cost me to get another generator so and have a backup generator but the backup generator doesn't do anything for you as long as I've got this one running it's not ideal it's not turning itself on but um, we'll get there I might be able to fix that once the switches are in we'll work that out but having double the capacity means that I'm not going to need the generator as often um, at the moment it's, it's sort of like every second morning I'm running down on power and if I'm getting a full day of sun or I'm charging the battery up to 80-90% with the generator then I'm right for two days but it's not ideal so the panels are the way to go. Alright that's just the update on that, I'm Stay Off Grid.